the hero who lost his life saving kids when a car swept across a little league ballpark was hiding a terrible secret from his past. He killed a little girl in a hit and run accident 50 years ago. It had to be the strangest twist of fate I have ever heard. Players and parents watched in horror oh my God. as the car hurtled across the field at a little league game outside Portland, Maine. 68-year-old Douglas Parkhurst was praised as a hero for pushing several youngsters, including his own grandson, out of the path of the careening car. He even slammed the gate shut to stop the driver from getting away. Parkhurst, a Vietnam vet, was struck down by the car. He died as he was rushed to the hospital. On the Little League team's Facebook page came this heartfelt message of respect. We want to share our deep sorrow to the family of the brave man that gave his life tonight protecting others. But it's now been revealed that Parkhurst was involved in his own fatal hit and run. On Halloween night 1968, an adorable four-year-old girl, Carolee Ashby, was killed walking across the street as she licked an ice cream cone. 45 years later, Parkhurst went to the local police department in upstate Fulton, New York, and confessed he was responsible for Carolee's death. Retired police lieutenant Russ Johnson. He ended up giving it up and even brought them to where the car was located. They, they recovered the car. They recovered the car? Well, it was, it was in the woods and it was deteriorated, but uh, it was indeed the car that uh, hit little Carolee. The car was invisible under a pile of brush. He dumped the car after the hit and run. Yeah, the car had been in the woods for decades. He knew he had to get rid of that car. Parkhurst signed this confession. I am oh so sorry. I can't change anything, but I hope this apology will be accepted and I beg for forgiveness. Because the statute of limitations had expired, Parkhurst was not charged. He moved 400 miles away to Maine to start a new life. It was there that he died a hero. The accused driver of the car in the ballpark, 51-year-old Carol Shero, faced manslaughter charges today. Cops say she has a history of driving drunk. One friend said the woman suffered from mental problems. The man who admitted uh, responsibility for killing little Carolee is now dead. Essentially the same way that he killed her, he died. It's mind-blowing. <laughs>